Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. King back here, back with NCAA 2005, our first season in the Independence Conference, unfortunately. I uh, got kicked out. Let's see where we are ranking, though, right now here in our polls. Last season, we had a good season, though. We went 4-8, and eight, finally managed to get some wins. Our backup QB did get three of the wins for us, though, but is what it is. We are coming in at 104 right now. Still a one-star school. But our overall, our overall and our offense are both up to a B, special teams B+, plus, and our defense is still still there at a B- minus right now. Not, not fantastic, unfortunately. And FIU got into the conference and we got the boot, but we're ranked better than them. So anyways, it's not nothing that we can do to change it now, but here we are. Uh, let's see what we can do. What's our strategy saying? Job security is a B minus right now. And this schedule, honestly, I'm, th I'm saying we do an easy ass schedule for, for ourselves here. Make it as easy as possible, get as many wins as possible, and then hopefully we can get recruited to a conference at some point. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so we can schedule up to 11 games. So yeah, bye there, bye there. Let's do a game on here. Do we want to play like Brown or something? Ball State's, mm, they're not great, I don't think. Notre Dame, another in independent. We'll play them. They'll, they'll probably be good, but overall, strength of schedule is a C. I kind of want to... Can we get like a terrible schedule, like way down to an F? I don't know if we can or not. Available opponents, Frenzo... Where is ND right now in the rankings? Wish it would show you them. Or does it show you them? Can I see them when I'm here? No, I can't see their profile. Okay, whatever. Strength of a C. I'm not going to be too upset about that. We'll keep it as is. Uh, offense. Sorry, our red shirting. So Andrews is our starter, and we lost the legendary backup white last offseason. But then we got, we got options at QB. Running back, Brown, we will red shirt. Fullback, Reed's getting the red shirt. Wide receivers, both those guys. Tight end, yep. Flynn, you're getting a red shirt. Larson, yep, would love the red shirt. You, the guard. Centers, we'll just do one. I don't think we can do both. Defensive tackles, we need, need, need. Can't do them. Free safety, oh, he's a junior now. Uh, honestly, wouldn't mind giving him a chance here, Hardy, to have another season here. Let these guys play it out, and then he can come in as a junior next year. It'd be pr pretty good. Uh, strong safety, yeah, we want you playing. And then kicker and punter, both sophomores. There we go. All right, so I think we are good to go into our games now. But first, just want to check our program standards. Yeah, no one there. Good injury report is empty. No one's starting the season hurt. So let's jump into it here. We have Arkansas State up first, ranked 60th. Ooh, 4135. Lost by six points. Damn, that's a close one, boys. That is close. Andrews, four interceptions. Buddy. I mean, we are passing the ball a shit ton, so checks out week two we got air force we have dropped to 119th in the nation we are dead last so there's only one way to go and that is up from here boys so here we go get get on our horse get up these standings we got to get it back to being like at least a two-star school i'm hoping uh air force i don't know if we keep on passing as we do i think we might as well 23-17, honestly, that's not too far off. Like, that's a close-ass game right there. You see you, Andrews, 20 for 35, 291 yards. Yeah, like, I think we did okay. Air Force, I don't know what they're doing passing-wise. They had three different guys barely attempt anything. I guess they just rushed the ball. Wow, lots of rushing the ball for them. Interesting. All right, week three, we got Wyoming. They're 116. We are 119. That should be a win right there, I'm thinking. We have to beat these guys. We don't belong where we are ranked right now. It was a close game against um, Air Force, so that's a good sign. 
funny. They weren't really throwing the ball either, so it didn't give her defense much of a much of a test, I feel like. Uh, yeah, let's just sim it and see where it gets us here. There we go, 52-49. Absolute barn burner. Man, just squeak out a victory there. Total offense, we had 672 yards. Wow. Uh, passing Andrews, oh my god, four interceptions. Like, I like how he's balling out, but we might have to change how aggressive we are. Next up, Bowling Green, they're 105. There we go, we jumped up to 111 there. Let's go strategy, aggressiveness, we are going to bring it down a little bit and let's bring a little bit more of a run game to our offense here. Because we do have that running back that we rec that transferred in who's pretty damn good. Edwards, he's an 84 overall, he's only got 30 rushing attempts, he's averaging 7.1 yards a carry. So I mean, hey, why don't we use him a bit more here? Program standards, okay good, no one's there. Injury report, ah, uh, foot stress fracture for Olsen, our middle linebacker. Uh, players of the week, let's see if we had anyone. Nope. And then, do the ind oh, independence, we do, <laughs> Navy. There we go, Andrews and Powell, and Andrews and Nixon again. I mean, there's no one in this division, so player of the weeks really don't matter. I don't think I'll be checking them for the rest of the year here. There's only four teams in our in our little little conference. Okay, so Bowling Green. Yeah, look at our pass offense. Number one, rush offense is 100th. Total heat defense has improved compared to last year, but still not great, I think. Oh my god, yeah, 55 to 27. 55 yards to Bowling Green. Come on, boys. Andrews, three, three TDs, only one pick. So yeah, bringing the aggressiveness down a little bit, I think... Let's him ball out without turning the ball over. Like, he still passed for, for 400 yards, so we'll take that. Week 5 is a bye week, so we'll just have to check in on our standards and then continue onwards here. No one there. Injuries. Oh, we lost Andy Gill to a sprained elbow for a week. Well, good thing it's a bye week for him. Okay, we got Zona State up here. They're ranked 53rd. Overall, they're a B. They're Bs everywhere. We are 112. Um, our rush defense is good. It's our passing defense that's bad this year. Turnover differential also a minus one. I think that was due to our crazy aggressive passing to start the year. Hopefully we can change that around. Still no one on the standards list. That's good. Left guard is back. All right, let's see how we can beat Arizona State. We cannot. 28 to 18 loss. Uh, where are the passing stats here? Wow, they had a lot of passers. Andrews, 14 for 34. Five interceptions. Five. Five interceptions. Are you kidding me, Andrews? That is, that is fucking brutal. All right, and we got a bye week here. I want to go in and take a look at Andrews' stats right now. Because that, like, man... Five picks last game. He's up to 15 picks this season. Only 14 touchdowns. Mind you, his QB rating is the best it's been in his career. It's 134. He's passing for a lot more yardage this year. Completion percentage is only 50%, though. I don't know. I kind of want to give Dukes a chance here, I'm thinking. We might put Dre Dukes in. Um, catch and carry. No, give me... Throw accuracy is only an 82, but his throwing power is an 89. Stamina's a bit better. Injury's not as good. So even if he goes down, we can throw Andrews back in. I don't know. Edwards, how are you doing right now? 49 attempts, 303 yards, 6.2 yards a carry. Oh, man. I um, was really hoping he would be doing a little bit more for us here. Cecil, how's Cecil doing? He was a workhorse last year. He's got the same amount of TDs. He's averaging more per carry right now. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think we'll see who we're playing and then what their stra strategies are and try to expose them. Okay, so here we got ND going coming in. They're ranked 83rd. We're 114. What is their... 
rush defense is slightly better than their pass defense, so not a real big difference. So I guess we'll stay with the passing game. If Andrews has another bad game here, though, I don't know. He, he might be done. Oh, baby, let's go. 44-38 to 38 win over Notre Dame. Andrews redeems himself, but how well, how, how good of a redemption game was it for him? Andrews, 18 for 33, 259 yards, one touchdown, one interception. The rushing is where it was at. Edwards, 104 yards, attaboy, two touchdowns. And Cecil also had two, two touchdowns. Very nice. Andrews, minus 24 yards rushing. Getting sacked like crazy back there. Okay, week nine by, and I think I forgot to check the standards last week. Uh, interest is the same. No one's on the list. We're good. Uh, Dillard's out for 10 weeks with a broken hand. Damn. This year he only had 22 catches for 400 yards. Or already had four touchdowns though, but... Dunzoed, and he's a senior, so his college career is finished, it looks like. That's too bad for our boy. Report card. Job Street is a B right now. We are in year two of two of this contract, so... Let's see... There's always room for improvement. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so we got a bye week here. Let's get through it. Next up is Arkansas. They are 1-6, in six, ranked 84th. Total offense is not very... They can rush the ball a lot better than they can pass the ball. So maybe we focus on defense stopping the run. Last time I did this, though, this did not turn out well for us at all. Get conservative with it. Look at the run. There we go. Offense, sub a little bit less. Alright, there we go. Arkansas going down. Let's go, baby. ECU 38-28 win. Improves to 3-4 and four on the year. Let's go. Uh, Andrews, three touchdowns, only one pick. Good. 284 yards. Rushing-wise... Cage, Edwards, wow, they are really splitting carries back there. Interesting. Andrews, 10 rushing attempts, minus 7 yards. Yikes. And, oh yeah, I think I forgot to do the standards again, didn't I? I got too too excited to try and win that game. Yeah, no one on the standards list right now. Cecil, broken ankle. Oh man, and he's a senior too, so two of our senior offensive weapons are done for the season, it looks like. Dillard and Cecil now. Damn. All right, next up we got Ball State. They're ranked 55th. We're up to 90th. Very good. Pass offense, second overall. Her rush offense, 111. Uh, these guys are pretty evenly rushing and passing. They got a good offense. Pass defense is weak, though, so hopefully we can ball out on them here. Let's go check our standards first. Standards. Okay, good. Everyone's starting to figure it out. Those guys are still out. Defense, we're going to go more into a 52-48 conservative. And now our offense, honestly, I wouldn't mind bringing it down a little. Uh, let's, let's keep the passing up for this game. There we go, 20-17. to 17. We take those victories, baby. We take those. We are 4-4 four and four now, back to 500. Let's go, Pirates. Andrews threw two picks, but he threw for 400 yards. Rushing Edwards, there we go. Taking the bulk of the carries. Oh my god, Andrews minus 65 yards. We gotta have him stop running the damn ball. Uh, let's see if there's any updates here. Award semi-finalists, any ECU guys? Nope. Nobody. Players of the Weeks. I mean, if we can get one for the entire league, that would be cool, but nobody. Independence. Yeah, I'm sure we get them all the time. Yeah, Andrews. There's Powell there. Andrews got the Week 4 and then those ones. Okay. I wonder if Player of the Weeks help guys grow at all going into the um, off season. Job security's up to a B plus now. We're four and four. We're glad to have you here in Greenville, coach. Okay, it looks like they're liking what they're seeing from King Beck now, baby. We just might be able to turn this program around, boys. 
All right, so this week we got Brown. They are D minuses all around. We should be beating them, but last time I said that against an unranked team like that, we got slapped. So I'm going to expect it to be a tough game still. No one, no infractions there. Oh man, Farmer has a pinched nerve. Garner's out with an upper arm fracture, 11 weeks. Holy smokes, man. Our trainer's got to get better here. Too many guys are get, getting hurt here. Okay, Brown, let's just sim it. There we go, 66 to 3. That's what we should be doing against every unranked team. Andrews, three touchdowns. Dukes came in 5 for 10 with three touchdowns as well. Good for him. ECU Edwards and Cage really split the carries there. And Dukes is listed twice down there. Do we have two different Dukes? I wonder. Oh, we might have a running back Duke and a QB Duke, do we? Yeah, we got Dukes there and then running back. No, we don't have one there. Dukes. Oh, we got Darren Dukes. We got a fullback who's also named D Dukes. Okay, that's what it is. And we got a bye week here on week 13. Let's go see what our strategy, or sorry, our security. Let's go A minus. Have a winning season is currently a check. We are five and four. Beautiful. Can we get a bowl bid though? Now is the question. I doubt it. The guys we beat have been crap. Uh, no, sorry, not bowl rankings, bowl projections we need. Mm, no, doesn't look like it. Not yet, at least. Unless we keep on winning games, and we might be able to sneak in somewhere here. Alright. Oh, uh, program standards. Forgot. There we go. No one on the standards. Injury report. Uh, at least at least Farmer's going to be back next week, but a lot of those guys have long-term injuries there. That sucks. Next up, we got Zona. They're two and seven. Oh, look at the Pirates up to sixty-fourth ranked. Let's go. Offense has been popping. Defense is starting to hold its own, but then again, I think our opponents have been pretty weak, so I'm not going to hold my breath on it just yet. Program standards: no one injury report. Okay, good. We got Farmer back. Our defensive tackle, Dillard, five weeks left. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it back. Is one. To, yeah, we only have three weeks of the season less left in bowl games, so he's done. Auburn, oh, that's going to be a tough game. If we can win these two, though, we can finish with our winning record, which I'm hoping we can. Just, oh, Western Michigan's ranked 36. That's pretty good. All right, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. They got a bad pass defense. They pass more Zona, so may, uh it's been working. Let's just keep on going with it. There we go. 49-29. Well done, boys. Offense is exploding here. Uh, Andrews, five touchdowns, 500 yards. boy. Rushing. Edwards led the way. Good. Glad, glad to see that. All right. The 6-4 Western Michigan Broncos going up against the 6-4 ECU Pirates. They're ranked 55th now. We are now 58. This might be a closer game than we thought it was going to be, boys. Let's go. Both are good passing teams, too. Well, our stats say we're a good passing team. We just rack up the yardage, I feel like. Program standards, nobody. Injury report, okay, no one knew, so that's a positive. Our poor card job security is up to an A now, boys. I think we might have secured an extension, I hope. But mind you, we had great seasons at Buffalo in the last game. They didn't uh, renew our contract at one point. So nothing's, nothing's set in stone until it's for sure. LSU got both for the league. Why? Oh, no, sorry. I'm changing. I'm changing it. Okay, there we go. Let's go away the weeks. Oh, baby, week 12, Reggie Medley won the NCAA Player of the Week versus Brown. <laughs> I don't know if that should count. Good for him. Conference standings, we're just behind Navy. Navy is a one-star school, but they are 7-3. We're also a one-star. Florida Atlantic's one-star. ND is down to a three-star school. Damn. Uh, award finalists, yeah, we're not going to have anyone in here, but we can take a look just for fun. Yeah, nothing there. Okay, so let's go focus on Western Michigan here. They're 55. Yeah, I think we can beat them, boys. Let's see it. 
31-28. That's a close game. I'm glad we didn't get blown out of the water. Andrews 13 for 24, 184 yards, three touchdown passes. Uh, rushing wise, Edwards led the way again. Good. Want Edwards to be our workhorse there. Week 16, the only game of the week, we got Auburn, number 17. And we are sitting at a 6 and 5 record. So if we can beat him, we can have a winning record, but I don't think a winning record will count for our contract if we go 500. Job security is an A though, so I'm thinking we're okay. The athletic director is happy to have you as our football coach. Okay, so I'm doing something right. The director likes us here. The standards, oh, farmer, 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 what are you doing? Farmer skipped one of his classes earlier in the week. He was seen playing basketball on campus instead. We don't want this to per perpetuate. Let's act now. Oh man, um, honestly a season suspension the rest of the season. I don't want this to flow through the rest of the team and let everyone else think they can do that. So he's out for the season now. Not ideal I know against Auburn here, but we got to put our foot down. I can't go on probation here. No way. ECU comes away with a massive victory over Auburn. What an upset. 42-28. to did that just say Dukes was balling out for us? Passing wise, yeah, Dukes. Andrews went 4 for 10 for 26 yards. And then we made a change and Dukes comes in. Balls out for 330 yards. Five touchdowns. Three picks. But still got us to win. Edwards 92 yards. a boy. Wow, that is a great way to go out, boys. I don't think we have a bowl though, do we? Even at 7 and 5, eh? They just didn't want to give us a bowl game. I mean, the teams we beat weren't great, but still, hey, we're 7-5, and five, baby. The, the school's loving it. Job security is an A+. Plus. There are coaching opportunities elsewhere, but the, the decision to leave or stay is a tough one. True, we could, we could head out of ECU after this season, boys, and look somewhere else if we felt like it, if there's a better opportunity somewhere. Honestly, if there's a better school, I might do that. But we'll see, we'll see. He's out for the season. Injury report. Nope. Andrews just sucked that game and got yanked. <laughs> Damn. He is a junior. See, but like next season, we could have a pretty damn stellar team, I feel like. We got a lot of high 80s now. The, the development's starting to come along here. I don't think we can leave um, ECU just yet. I think we have to see this through a couple more, a couple more seasons at, at least here. Heisman went to Alfonso Penn of Florida State, a wide receiver. Look at that. Uh, Craig, the Texas Tech QB, came a close second behind him there. All right, now it's bowl week, and of course we do not have a game, so I will sim the rest of the games here. There we go, contract extension. Congratulations, Beck. The Pirates were impressed with you and would like to renew for another three years. So our prestige is up to a two-star now. We do have a pretty good depth base set of players right now. All in the 80s, sophomore and juniors going into their senior year. So maybe we take this deal and just stay, stay at ECU for another three years. Try to make this team into a winner. And then we could jump ship to a bigger program and just keep on going there and try and go win a national title somewhere. So here, let's renew. Are you sure you want to renew your contract? Yes, but don't advance the offseason just yet. Uh, the Gamecocks win the national championship against the Gators 28-21 in overtime. That would have been a crazy game. So that looks like it's going to wrap up our season here. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button and leave a like on the video. We'll quickly run through the stats from the season here. See how Andrews did. Dukes was a great backup. I'm hoping he, did, he doesn't leave. Uh, season stats. Yeah, Dukes, Dukes kind of balled out. Uh, Andrews was good, though. O almost had a 4,000-yard season. Good for him. QB rating of 142. I think that's pretty damn good. Yeah, compared to his previous season of 117, he, big improvements there. So he's going to his senior year. He could really lead this team to something big. Edwards almost had 1,000 yards. Good for him. Cecil got hurt early, so... That sucks, and then it was basically a committee split. Andrews minus 250 yards. That's insane. 
Uh, receiving, ooh, pace. Almost had a thousand. Medley was up there because our boy Dillard got injured early. Seeing Edwards up there though at 500 as a as a back is great. And blocking defensive stats, all that good stuff. All right. So that's that, boys. Uh, on to next off season now. Heading into the off season, time to hit the road and put together a great recruiting class. We are now a two star school, a two star coach, coming off a big season for us. So looking forward to what the off season brings. Hopefully, we bring in some more talent and get this team into a bowl game at least. Thanks for watching, boys.